And you know, for that, probably for that one main reason, I found that I'm not using them, which is a crying shame because I do love them. It's just that one thing. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Um, so I was gonna talk to you about the Chanel Classic Flap and why it is that I've stopped using mine quite as much as I used to. Now I've got a few, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna do like, um, not a haul, that's the wrong word. What am I thinking? Like a collection. I'm gonna show you my collection of Chanel Classic Flaps. I'm gonna to explain to you why I've stopped using them for the most part. I'm gonna explain why there is only one that I am actually using anymore. And also I have got a whole load of clothes that are very Chanel inspired. Now, last time I showed Chanel inspired clothes and here are some here. Um, everything is really well priced and I will link to everything in the description. And I will say as well, with the, um, with the links, they're not affiliate and I'm gonna put the prices next to each item. You can buy worldwide from this place, it's Urban Revivo. And they have actually got, if you're into Chanel style, they've got a section on their website, I'll link to this as well. And I think it's called the Classic Collection, but that collection is entirely Chanel themed, where you can get like, um, I'll show you. Not only can you get Chanel style clothing, but you can even get Chanel style handbags as well. So um, if you're into that, I will put the link to that below and I hope you enjoy this. But what I was gonna say is last time I showed clothes from Urban Revivo, where I was talking about the Chanel price increase, I had a considerable amount of you saying to me, next time you do this, can you talk about the clothes first so we can see them all, then talk about the topic. So I'm gonna jump right in with the clothing first. So starting with bags, I've got two which I've shown you before. This one I got in December last year. This one I got in March this year, and they're both the same size as the me kind of in between a small and a medium size classic flap. Then there is the cutest bag. Check this out. Look at this tiny tweed top handle. And I was gonna say as well, all of the bags come in a dust bag, like a drawstring dust bag. But this, it, as soon as I saw it, I thought I really need to get this and I really need to show you it because it was not expensive at all. And if I just open it and show you it on the inside, it also has a crossbody strap. So it's a really sweet bag and you can, I will show you what fits in these, okay? Because I know sometimes when you have like a larger phone, you, you wonder will it fit. With a larger phone, I don't think this will. Looking at this bag, I have the iPhone mini and I've got the Samsung, the little foldy one. The Samsung without doubt will fit. We will try the mini and see if it fits in. I've got the iPhone 13 mini. But also another one which I saw and again, it's very Chanel inspired is this tiny box bag. Again, top handle, like crossbody, so you can wear it crossbody. And if we take the chain out, oh, it's really nice. It's got pink, like a pink faux leather running through the chain. And on the inside, it's got the Urban Revivo label just there. And then you can zip it closed. This is the kind of thing that you could use. Obviously your phone's not gonna fit this. Um, but this is the kind of thing that you could use on an evening out or if you're running errands and you only really need your like a card and your keys and a lip balm or something like that. Or even if you have got the tiny Samsung folding phone, which is the best phone ever. If you do have that, then that might possibly fit in this as well. Okay, now I have one more bag before I move on to clothing. And this is it, small tote bag. This feels like wool. So with all of these, they're all like a tweed type material. This has got a magnetic opening and closing on the top of it. Oh, I didn't know it came with that. Comes with a crossbody strap as well. So if you did want to wear this crossbody, you totally can. Large phone, no problem. Everything's gonna fit into this. You could probably even get a small bottle of water in this as well. So if you're someone who does carry water, this I would say, is pretty much bang on the same size as the Lady Dior in the medium size. And I, when I saw it, you know, I like being able to show you all things that you might not have seen before that are, I, I love trying to find things that are well priced as well. You know, I do a lot of stuff where I get discount codes and I like to show those so you can get an extra discount. But when I saw this, I thought some of you might actually love this and you can get this in different prints. So if you like the shape, but you're not mad on this uh, print or if it doesn't go with your wardrobe, go and have a look because it does come in other colors. Clothing wise, so this is one of the items 
that I have in this haul of clothing. And to me, it really reminds me of the Gucci print and that Gucci color, you know, they have the, what well, looks a bit like this. The only difference is close up if I show you, it obviously doesn't have the double G's on it, but it's a really nice um, cropped sort of jacket. I love how it looks. I love how it fits. I've taken a size medium in everything. If you're unsure of your sizing, go and have a look at the item you're interested in and check out the size information because they put measurements and sometimes the measurements vary a little bit based on the item in question. So get out your tape measure, measure yourself and I would say have faith in their measurements because I've noticed that for me. When I go by their measurements I always end up with the right size item. So this is the next item, it's a really nice gingham cardigan. I've put them here with these jeans which are from Urban Revivo as well and I love the way they've got like a seam down the front of them I'm wearing them at the moment I love the way they've got like a seam down the front of them because I feel like it's quite slimming on the leg quite elongating their knitwear is heavy it's not flimsy cheap feeling stuff there's a weight behind it um I, let me tell you the material that this is made from I'm gonna guess it's like a polyester type thing viscose with a bit of polyester in it but it feels like feels like wool you know when you can get that material that actually feels like wool but it's heavy so bear that in mind if you're going to get this stuff is it does feel premium it does wash well um for me at least anyway um and yeah and it's it's good the next item and i felt like this is particularly chanel inspired is this cardigan and i'm coming in closer to show you in this video these pieces because it, when you get closer to them that's when you start to notice the detail and for example this has got metallic thread running through it again it's a really heavy weight material this is one that I haven't washed yet because I haven't actually worn it yet except for in this video but the other items I've washed but this I will be washing in the same way this I might actually put on a hand wash and wash it cold with the aerial liquid tablets I think I might do that just because of that bow on there the next item I haven't washed this either because I haven't worn it yet which is why the labels are still on it but it is this dress I love this color it's like um it's somewhere between it's kind of like a cornflower but with a little bit of lilac in it and it's the most adorable dress it again it's like a heavy material so this is really good for spring because it's a knit type material it's got that tweed kind of going on with it again have a look close up at that fabric can you see the way it's almost got like a tweedy fluffiness to it and those are the buttons on the front so really good material really good fabric then I've just got two more items and we'll discuss this whole Chanel thing the next is like a varsity type jumper and it looks like this and up close I loved the buttons on this you wait until you see the buttons okay so let me zoom you in this is them but have a look they're actual bobbles look at that they're not flat on the back they're actual bobbles and this is one of the things that I love about the brand is that with all of their items of clothing when I get them and I get close up I'm like oh I didn't even notice that from on the website it's got metallic thread in it or the buttons are really unique or the stitching on it's really well done you know there's always something whenever I get their items that I think oh I didn't notice that and this feels like a really heavy knit as well this is probably the thickest knit out of everything I'm showing you this is one of the heavier weight ones then there is also this cropped off jacket which I've just put on to show you and if I come in closer and show you some details the collar is like a faux it's chocolate leather like faux leather but a chocolatey brown color and then the actual material is tweed cream and it's an anorak and it has pockets as well if you would want to use the pockets it's got pockets on it but I love the way it's cropped off I've put it here with some jeans and just with a vest top underneath but you could wear this if you wanted high-waisted jeans and no top underneath and just have it as your actual top and then finally one of my favorites and it's this which looks like nothing until I've I need to wear this and try it on but it, it is a off-the-shoulder sort of corset type top and I love the way it's got this uh, vent up the front of it so it's splits there in the middle so just on the waist there is a vent 
trust me it's there in the middle i've also got a couple of pairs of shoes to show you these are the first and i've just put them here with this bag these are tweed if i zoom in closer they're tweed with a patent looking uh toe cap and they have these bows on them so they go up like that like a kind of like a, is that called a mary jane and then these are the next and i've just put them with this bag the tote bag that you saw you may have seen earlier at this point or you might see later but this is like a tweed tote bag and these are also tweed and i love the way they've got a frayed edge around the outside okay so let's discuss the whole chanel thing i have got a few Chanel classic flaps which I will show you now. I've got the Jumbo which I bought back in 2016 for four and a half thousand pounds and as I've told you before at the time that was a lot of money but it's nothing compared to how much it is now so I'm very glad that I've got this. I also have got I think this is a medium size um, yeah medium size classic flap in the chevron in pink. Then I have two minis. I've got a mini square in a sort of aqua green colour, a mini rectangle that you can see there. Then I have a tweed version. This I actually do wear for a reason I'll come on to. I have a tweed version and I have a uh, vintage size medium. So here's the thing, I love this bag and I will cannot see myself ever not loving this bag. I love the shape of it. I love how timeless it is. I like how they have been in style for generations and how I cannot see them ever going out of style. They're one of those staple classic pieces and if you're into your bags, I do think they're a good one to get. And I've, I've always said in recent years that since the price rises, I personally wouldn't buy another one. And it's not to say, that's not to say that I don't like them, I love them, and it's not to say that I don't think they're worth it, but in a way I don't think they're worth it anymore. I think, of course the prices are always going to go up, so if you buy the Jumbo tomorrow for, what is it now, like 9,000 or something, which is crazy, but if you were to go and buy that, next year it's going to be more, so it, it does keep going up, it's not that it's not an investment, but it's not the investment that it once was because... I just feel like they've got too expensive and so for that reason I'm really glad that I've got what I've got but I wouldn't go and buy any more. However, what I would buy are pre-loved and vintage and this is what I find, I've found that I'm actually wearing a lot and the reason why I've stopped wearing the other ones but I'm using this is because of a few things but the primary reason, the main one reason is to do with price. For me, those the bags now are so expensive that whenever i use mine i just feel like i don't want to mark it i don't want to damage it you also because of how much they are now um you know you could be you could be a target for for thieves they have so many um things about them now that put me off using them and as I say, those those reasons for not using them have got nothing to do with not liking the bag or the product. I like both the product and the bag and I love the brand. And I know there's quality things going on and that's a whole separate video, but I, I love the brand and I love the product. But for me, I feel that they've got so pricey that it's a liability when I use it. And like, I've got a Chanel boy bag and it's trashed, but it's lambskin and it's just worn out and it looks really tired. And I don't want that to happen to any of my classic flaps. In fact, the pink one that I showed you, the medium sized pink chevron one, I used that a few times last year. And on the corners, the, cause it's got like, um, I'll show you, it's got like a caviar on it. So if I show you close up, I don't know whether you can see, but the leather's actually caviar leather. And last summer when I was wearing it, bear in mind I was wearing it with light colour coloured clothes. On one of the corners, which co oh, it's this corner. On one of the corners, it started to get dye transfer. And that's another reason why I adore this bag, but I'm not using it as much as I would like to, because the leather on it's quite it's really weird. Like if you've got this bag, you'll know what I mean. But the leather feels quite dry and quite porous. It feels nice, but it feels like dry and porous. It doesn't feel glossy or supple at all. And it's that kind of leather that just seems to suck up any dye transfer whatsoever. Even worse than other bags I've got that are lighter colours. This one just seems to love dark colours. The um, the mini rectangle is one that I'm 
probably actually using more out of everything but not as much as that vintage one that see the thing is with vintage for me is they cost a bit less quite a bit less but also the damage has already been done and I feel as though when I use my vintage bags they don't have that sort of um uh, if I compare it because it you because it looks used and worn it doesn't have the flashiness of a new one so when I wear this I don't feel quite so flashy in it in a good way I don't feel like it attract I feel like it attracts attention but not the wrong kind I feel like it attracts the attention of people who are also into vintage as opposed to thieves of course there will be thieves that look at it and they're like oh it's a Chanel bag but it's not like the jumbo where I would wear that out and just be thinking I'm carrying like £9,000 worth of bag on my shoulder and how is that making me feel? Do I feel safe carrying it? That's really what it comes down to. And the thing is with all of this stuff is, and I, it has started to make me think, what's the point of buying it if you're not going to use it? But then when, I, when I've been buying the classic flaps, it was back in the day when they didn't cost so much and I didn't worry too much about using them. It's only in recent years where they've got really, really steep in price that I've started to feel a bit differently about them. So they're my reasons and I feel primarily like it's mainly to do with how much they are now. If they were 4K, 5K, like the Lady Dior, I wouldn't worry so much. But it's because of how much they are now that whenever I wear them out, I feel like I could be a target. And, and I know it's the same for a lot of you that wear Hermes, for example. You go to places where everyone knows what an Hermes bag looks like and you could be a target, you know? They're so hard to get those bags as well. They're so premium and they're so desired. Um, how, how do you feel when you're walking around with your bags? How do you feel now in this kind of day and age with the, the prices that these things are? Particularly if you bought things back whenever, when things cost a lot less. How do you feel now? carrying those items do you still feel confident or not really is it just me let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video